Hello Internet. This is Sean Fry from Broadsword Media. So, sorry for the late upload. This was a video that was recorded at the beginning of April, so uh, some things may be out of date on this video. But anyways, enjoy it. These are our Major League Baseball regular season predictions. What's up Internet? This is Broadsword Media. I'm Sean Fry. What's up? I'm Kyle from Plaid Zebra Productions. So we're doing a uh, video of MLB predictions, and we're going to start with the American League East. Would you like to go first on this one? Nope, you go for it. All right. Well, the American League East, um, it's going to be a pretty interesting division. Uh, I don't believe the Orioles are going to repeat because they lost a few important players to their roster. Like Cruz, Nick Markakis, and Miller. Let's face it, Nick Markakis was the heart and soul of that team, and they got rid of him like that, which is stupid, in my personal opinion. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I've, personally, to me, the AL East is a bit hard to pick, but I'm going to pick the Blue Jays to just barely take the division. They got some improvements to their roster that will just barely put them over the edge. And then I think the Orioles will be second place. Uh, Red Sox in third, barely around 500. Then the Yankees with a losing record, and then the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Uh, I'm going to kind of disagree with you. I think the Red Sox, yay Boston guys, I think you guys are going to win the division this year. Toronto is going to be right there close and personal with you guys because... I think they got themselves enough players to compete, but not enough to win the division. But I think the Red Sox are going to win the division, followed by Toronto. I mean, they got blockbuster trade and gained Donaldson from your A's. Oh, man. Oh, man. Go. Anyways, I also feel like... The Yankees are going to get third place this year. They are an old veteran team. They'll get in there, but they're not going to do. They're not going to win. I feel like Baltimore has enough players on the team to get fourth place, and Tampa Bay. I'm sorry, I just don't see them doing well this year. I'm sorry, but you'll come back next year. I guarantee it. All right, so now we go to the American League Central. Um, we all know that last year the Tigers took the division, but the Royals were a wild card. They went all the way to the World Series. But the Royals have lost some important players, which is going to affect them this year. So I don't think they'll uh, take the division, and uh, neither will the Tigers. I'm actually going to go with the uh, Cleveland Indians, but just barely, just barely edging out the Tigers. And then, uh, like I said, the Tigers will be second, so they'll probably be a wild card. Um, Royals third hovering around 500 and then it would be the uh, White Sox and the Twins on the bottom two. Well, I do agree with you. No, I can't agree with you, sorry. I think the White Sox are actually going to win the division this year. They got, White Sox. I think they're going to win it because they got, they're a, kind of a sleeper team this year. Okay. And they did got enough star power to compete. They have three awesome pitchers. I forgot their names. Forgive me. Lack of sleep. They got Jeff Samarja from the A's. Yeah. Uh, they also got Chris Sale and uh, other players. They got a good starting rotation. They picked up Adam LaRoche from the Nationals. I think that's a good decision. And Jose Abreu. I still have him. Of course they got him. <laughs> he had his first season last year. Had a lot of home runs. <laughs> I feel that the Tigers are going to get second place. Yes, you guys did lose Torrey Hunter. We all love him. Justin Verlander's on the DL. Yeah, but he'll come back. Mm -hmm. I think you guys have good starting pitchers to get second place. You also got Cespedes. Don't this even is, remind me. God this damn. is fun. This is fun, folks. <sighs> Product placement for sadness. Sorry. Love you, Ace fans. But anyways, I see the White Sox are going to get first place. I see the Tigers getting second. I see the Indians getting third place. 
they got a lot of good players on the team, but I don't think they got enough star power to get past teams like Detroit and the White Sox. I see the Royals getting fourth place, which is sad because they were in the World Series last year, but they lost Big James and Billy Butler, and they did not get enough. They didn't really do enough during the offseason to fix those needs. I'm sorry. But every other position, you guys are good and solid. You just need to work everything else out. Minnesota, you're not going to... You're going to get last place. I'm sorry. But I got to do a shout out to Brandon Polson. Love you, buddy. Play ball with you in high school. I'm excited about you. All right. So now we go to the American League West. And... Uh... Just like last year, I think the Angels will take the division again. I hate saying that as an A's fan, but you already mentioned all the players that are on other teams now. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Cleveland, you got Brandon Moss. And then the Blue Jays have Donaldson. And, oh, man, the, uh, this year is not looking good for my favorite team at all. Um, at all. So, But here's what I see. I see the Angels taking the division. The Mariners will be second place, uh, fighting for the final wild card spot with um, the Orioles from the American League East. The A's are going to be third. I think they're going to actually have a losing record. Okay, you, you need to stop. <laughs> I can see you doing that. Um, the uh, A's are going to get third with a losing record, I believe. And then the uh, Astros will be fourth again and the Rangers last again. Uh, I think you're wrong about the division winner. I believe the Mariners are going to come and win the division this year. They did they did well enough to almost get into the wild card and I feel like because they just missed the wild card last year, they're going to come back with vengeance and actually take the division. Angels will get second place plus they got some distractions in the locker room unfortunately. We don't need to comment about that, but hopefully it goes will get better. I do see your A's getting third place this year. The Oakland A's will get third place this year. But I see a good, strong possibility in the future they're going to bounce back and go back to the playoffs next year. I do see the Astros competing with the A's, though, for that third place position. The Astros, yes, they're not the best, but... They're going to get better. In five years, they're going to definitely be a playoff contending team. Go future. And the Rangers? Uh, you're going to get last. I'm sorry. But I feel that you guys do have a good possibility to also compete for that fourth and even possibly that third place position. So... You do have a shot. So it's going to be Mariners, Angels, A's barely, Astros barely, Rangers barely. Now we're going on to the National League. We'll start with the National League East. This is where real baseball is played. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty interesting division. Uh, I still think uh, the Nationals, they'll take the division again. Um, they're going to be pretty dominant this year. Um... What's really, the, what division are we in? National League East. Okay. I don't really think the uh, any of the teams in that division can really be, compete against them for that top spot, to be honest. Um, second place is kind of hard to say. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'll go with the uh, Marlins by just a little bit, but they're going to be a little, just a little bit above 500, and the Mets will be right right there. Uh, the Braves, they lost a lot of key players, so they're really hurting. Now, they were good for many years, but this year they're just not, gonna, they're just not there anymore. So they're going to get fourth and the Phillies last. I'm uh, going to disagree with you again, buddy. So I do agree with you with the Nationals. Yes, I do feel that you guys are going to win the division. you got a great starting rotation, let's be honest. I mean, you got Scherzer. you got... Zimmerman. So, 
I see the Nationals going to win the division. They got a good strong five rotation, let's be honest. They got a good, great, solid team. They're going to win the division. The Mets are going to get second place in the division. They got a good... A good young starting rotation coming up in the works, let's be honest. It's a good key starting rotation. And they got some other good guys out there in the outfield and on the bases too. So the Mets are going to get second place. The Marlins, I feel, will get third place. But the Atlanta Braves, because they got Nick Markakis, they're and some other players. I feel they could actually get fourth, but they could actually take out Miami. Could. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I said could. Key word. Could. I think they get it. Could. Okay. <laughs> I see Atlanta game fourth, but could get third. Could. And who's the Oh, yeah. I see... It, it sucks. I hate to say it. But I do see Philadelphia gain last place. I know they have a lot of good players on that team. The sad thing is, they're, most of them are old. And they don't have a mix of, a good mix of young talent around them to make it a more solid team, unfortunately. So that is why Philadelphia is going to get last place, is because. They don't have more youth there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And as far as I know, I don't think their starting rotation is very good at all this year. So no, that's not that's not going to help either. So we go to the National League Central. Uh, I'm going to predict the Cardinals to take the division again, um, but the Pirates will be right behind them. They'll definitely be an easy wild card for sure. Uh, both teams are really good. It's going to be a very competitive race for the for the top in that division for sure. Third place, um, it's a little tough to pick third place. I am I know the Cubs made a lot of improvements, but I don't know. I just, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I'm just going to go out on a hinge and just say the Brewers will just barely edge out third, just above the Cubs. Cub fans, you can boo them right now. <laughs> Whatever. And uh, then last place will be the Reds. But it's going to be a very competitive National League Central where any of the five teams actually has the capability of taking the, the division crown. So you're saying the Cubs are going to get fourth place? Just by just a tiny bit. You got no love. Okay, my predictions. You're not a Cubs fan either, so what? I respect all teams, and I do respect the I Cubs. I respect all teams, too. I'm just, those are just my predictions. Well, here's my predictions, and here are the facts. They're just predictions. Right? Pittsburgh is going to take the division this year. That is going to happen. McCutcheon and an all-star cast. We're going to go with that. And he also got a young player in that rotation who is definitely going to be an ace. We're going to go with that. I see Pittsburgh is going to win the division because they've been gaining the wild card for the last two years. And now they're going to take the division from St. Louis. The Cardinals are getting older. Even though they got Jason Hayward from Atlanta, they're going to do good, but they're not going to take the division this year. I'm sorry. The Cubs, you're going to get third place. I'm sorry, Cubs. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I, I get it, Cub fans. Okay, I'm sorry. You're not liking what you're hearing, but let's be honest here. You're going to get third place this year, most likely. But the future is bright. Trust me, it's bright for you guys in the future. I see you guys, depending on what you do in the offseason next year, you guys will go to the playoffs next year. And there is a good, there's still a good possibility you can make it this year, but you have a great chance next year. And the other two teams, I think, well, if the Cubs didn't get so good this year, it would have been the Brewers, but Brewers... You're going to get fourth place. And the Reds looks like you're going to get last place. I hate, it's a tough division. I think it's one of the, it is the toughest division really in all of baseball, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And if like Cincinnati or the Brewers were in another division, shoot, even like the NL East, for example, 
I possibly would have seen them go to the playoffs. But you're in the Central, so that's why Houston left. <laughs> yeah, it was good of them to leave to, for the AL West indeed. All right, so now, now we're going to recover the National League West. So last year... Isn't that where the champions, world champions are in? Yes, the world champion Giants, which he's a fan of. Um, we're in that division. The Dodgers took the division last year, but the Giants took a wild card and just um, swarmed all the way to the World Series. Um, it's going to be an interesting division. It seems lately the Giants, uh, they would win the World Series and then miss the, the playoffs the following year. It's like some weird pattern. I don't believe in that. It's a fresh pattern, it's, apparently, it's, which it's, is not... Yeah, it, it's, it's a coincidence, you know. It's not like it's just going to happen every time. Um... As for how the division will go, I think the Dodgers will take the division again. Um, they have a really solid team, and they even added a few uh, improvements to the team as well. Yeah, two former A's pitchers. Oh, my God, stop. Oh, I didn't want to say them. But. but let's be honest, they are injury-prone too, so don't worry. It's not that bad. Damn it. But, um, yeah, so the Dodgers will take the division. And um, I'm going to pick, uh, this is a really tough choice for second place, uh, but I'm actually going to pick the Giants to just barely get second by about like one game or maybe even a tiebreaker win. Um, and uh, then the Padres will be third <coughs> right there in the mix of it. And then the bottom two will be the uh, Rockies and the Diamondbacks uh, being the weakest of the division for sure. I do agree with you on the fact the Dodgers are going to win the division. It's a little tough for me, even though we won the World Series last year. Yes. But it's a little tough for me to figure out who's going to get second or third place. Either the Giants or the Padres. Mm -hmm. The Padres, you guys did a great job in the offseason, that is no question. No question at all. You bring in Justin Upton, you bring Matt Kemp, big game James Shields. I'm gonna give a shout out to Brandon Morrow, Santa Rosa baby. The Giants, they didn't do that well in the offseason, let's face it. They bring that McGee guy from Miami. Now, He's a good, solid player who basically did put up the same RBI and batting average as he who shall not be mentioned, Panda. And we also did pick up another underrated outfielder in Adoki, who came from the Royals last year. Very, very underrated ball player who I feel will fill in nicely for another season or two. For the Giants. So basically, between San Diego and the Giants, whoever wins the most games when those two teams play against each other is going to get second place. I can't really decide who's going to get, get second place. So whoever wins the most games, I guarantee you, against each other is going to bat, get second place. Fourth place, tough decision, but I feel the Rockies will get fourth place. I feel like the Rockies, you don't have much time left with your power bats, like Tulewiski and Gonzalez. If You need to draft. You need to draft some real star talent pitchers because, let's face it, we know... No real starting pitchers are going to want to come to Colorado to pitch up there. They just don't want to. Uh, so you need to run heavy. So you need to draft good pitchers. So hopefully you guys can do that soon, or even trade to get some young star talent pitchers from another team. Bring them to Colorado, and if you do that, I truly believe you guys will bounce back. And could actually make San Diego, the Dodgers, the Giants all run for their money. And 
the Diamondbacks. You guys have fallen out out of grace from 2011. No question about that. I'm sorry. I do love you guys down there. You guys hang in there. Hang in there. You will get fifth place this year, I feel like. I'm sorry. So that's going to finish off our Major League Baseball regular season predictions. Stay tuned in October when the uh, postseason comes on and we'll make some predictions for that. And in the near future, we'll make predictions for the National Hockey League playoffs as well. And go ahead, check out our other videos on Broadstart Media. I got some top 10, some uh, movie reviews, video game reviews, and a variety of things going on here. And in the near future, I plan on doing uh, some what if or theory videos. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but it will happen in the near future. This is Kyle Otis from Plaid Zebra Productions. And this is Sean Fry from Broadstart Media.